Hello everyone, the Ontario Gordon here. Welcome back to Assembly Planter. In our last episode, we set up a basic automation harvesting setup, I guess you would say, using um, Mark, whoops, <laughs> using Mark 1 harvesters. We have a sieve, a, a copper sieve, we have a distributor, which I believe are actually called what? Um, distributor which are called collectors that spit out what you have so and we have uh, we have to do this this is where we're going to get the next level harvester and the next level uh, planter I believe we have wood and we have copper so the way this is set up here a basic one we did a bunch of upgrading to expand our areas which increases it one all the way around from here well from here to here we're at currently one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine by nine, we're at 81 blocks. The next one will go out to 10 by 10, which will be 100 blocks. Yeah, 81. So what we got to do today is we need to keep working on our our science, which is basically this. We're at level 10. We've unlocked automatic harvesters and planters, as well as conveyor belts, which is the key thing for automation. Now we do have to make 10 and 10 what can we make now can we make anything so we're going to need we need wood we're going to need tomatoes and everything else now what we can do is we could actually double this up a bit if we wanted to now i don't oops oopsies that's not one of the what i wanted to do but it's fine we can do some trees as well actually oh i can't do that here interesting um let's get rid of this the sieve and what i want to do is i want to make one more harvester i'm not sure why i have it set up that way on to be honest with you because that should feed into that just like that and then the sieve we can actually put here which we're not going to use at the moment all right let's get some more tree seeds in and we also need seeds for uh, actually we don't need well we need tomatoes for these and we need tomatoes for these and we have no tomato seeds at the moment, as you can see. So let's go into our our sieve and let's make some tomato seeds. Open it up by right clicking. We only have a little bit of dirt, so that means we have to right click on this and we have to put in our compost bin, which will give us um, which will give us dirt. Now we don't have an automatic one, but well, technically they're all all are automatic. They'll just do that. The seeds will spit out. Oh, that's why I had this set up like this. Sorry, let's just do that. Um, to collect all these, I want to put this facing that way, and then I want to do it like, uh, yeah, um, control left click will split the stack. That's what I wanted to do. That way they'll automatically spit out as we need them, just like that. Because we need to make 10 of each. Now we need a little bit more wood, which we don't have many, we don't have very much wood at the moment. So we're going to make a few more of these seeds, get a good supply of this. And again, you can see I could I could make I could duplicate this setup over here, but for now it's fine just like this. I'm not too worried of doing it six by six. We're gonna get another six, and then we're gonna swap this out for tree seeds. Make that. We have some tree seeds, of course. Now what we can do is we can always do plant things by ourselves, just like this. We have to also get enough stuff for copper, which we are doing copper seeds right now. And all we gotta do is harvest the copper ourselves. I mean, like, there's no harm in doing that. Uh, we're automating things a little bit here. How much dirt do we have? We have a lot of dirt. So we got copper rolling in. We got a bunch more copper seeds. We might as well plant the rest of those now. Uh, we're going to need a few. Actually, we're going to need a few more bars. So let's go back into our copper. Let's do this. Um, I don't need that many. Let's do 20 of that. Cut this one. And again, this is just basically a rinse and repeat as of now. This will spit out this, and then there you go. Now, once you have this fully automated, uh, which we should get to by the end of this episode, like that, and then you got a bunch more coming in. Now, what do we need to make these? Do we need, we need wood, and so we need 10 of each of these. Can we make 10 of any of these? No, we can't. So we're gonna go into here, we're gonna switch this to olive seeds because we need to make olive seeds. And then we're just gonna spit out all of seeds like crazy. Let's click on that. Let's put half a stack in. And there we go. So we can we can start making some of these. Oh, uh, I don't wanna do that. I wanna do that. Now you do one more copper. Doesn't doesn't really matter. Let's make the 10 that we need. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
uh, oh, we're out of, okay, we have to make, we have to make plastic now, which isn't biggest of deals. We just don't have a thing to make plastic with, which would actually be called a, where is it at here? It is under this, it's going to be a, where is it at here now? Which one is it here? It's not any one of these. It is it's this one. Oh, can we not? Oh, maybe we can't do that yet. Interesting. Hmm. Hold on one second. I don't think we can make that yet. We have to do the plastic manually. Uh, which is a bit of a pain in the butt. But it's fine for, for what it is. Yeah, we can't uh, automate that quite, 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 quite yet. But we can come in here and we can just make a whole bunch of plastic. As much as we can. And there you go. So, let's go back into where we are at here. We need to make one more harvester that gives us ten. One, two. Oh, we need more wood. Now we need more wood. So we're going to go into here. Choose wood. Right click. Dump all thirty into that. We can go into our composter, dump that in. This we're going to take out, and it's basically a, it's it's very much rinse and repeat for for what this is as of now. Once we can get the other stuff automated, um, which is we're going to do well this episode, of course, we're going to be able to do it a lot uh, a lot better. So we need to make uh, one, two, three, and we need more. We just need more wood. We're going to go in here, make tree seeds, right click on that, dump all that in there, and there you go. And dump this, right click, add that, take this out, and there you go. Pretty uh, straight, it's pretty straightforward actually how this is, how you, how you do this. Um, let's wait for three more. There we go. And then we're just, just going to come through and we're going to cut all every one that we have. Uh, the manual ones, again, it's not hard to cut them. So we have three. So we need to make four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ten all right so right now we have everything we need except we need more wood which guess what we're just gonna plant more wood <laughs> very simply we're gonna plant more wood we're gonna come in here we we'll might as well let that finish not a big deal harvest what we need and then let's see do we have enough yet i don't think so let's get one one more there we go, like that. And then these, we can just grab these by ourselves. Because trees are fast. It's five seconds. Do we have enough wood to level up? Uh, not quite. One more one more little round, I think we will. One thing about the game is if you use the last item in a slot, it'll automatically put something in your hand. There's, I don't know how to clear your hand completely with something in it. Like you can't to get it back to where there's nothing. But nonetheless, we have enough to level up to level 11. We've unlocked splitters, the splitter splits, <laughs> and filters. It can be used to make one puller feed multiple machines. The filter allows you to filter out specific specified items from an in-term item stream. So for this, we don't need it. But on the other side, I guess the, the updated grabbers aren't this one. That's this one here. We need to start working on some of that. Now, how many of these can we... These are the splitters, or the filters. These are the splitters. How many of these can we make? Uh, we can make... If you shift left click, it makes all that you can make. Um, basically like that. And then you go into this to make your plastic. Shift left click. This actually has to craft a bit, so it's not 100 you know, percent as quick. So we'll just do a bunch of this manually for just for two seconds. Um, these take nine seconds. They're done. They should be done any second here. Anything harvested gives you compost or gives you um, biomass, which then you can turn into compost or, or you can compost to turn it into dirt. So we need a bunch more of these, uh, as you can see. And what we need is we need plastic and we need tomatoes, oddly enough, or the auto, all, all tomato, all tomato seeds. So we have a bunch already, but we need more, need more seeds to make more, more plastic, of course. Okay, and we're just going to make a bunch of these just to show you how this is to be set up. So we're going to make one, two, three. I can't. Okay, we need to make some iron seeds now. And then make some iron seeds. 
because I want to I want to automate this. I want to automate this setup uh, as best as we can, at least semi automate it just to show you how that works. We got to do the iron now. How many do we have three? Uh, okay, we gotta wait for the, the iron to finish. And then we can make yeah, we said to make wait for the iron to finish, which iron takes um, 15 seconds, so it's a bit longer, of course. We got it'll pop into our inventory any second here. There we go. We can do one, we can do two, and we can do three. Now, so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go back and get rid of this dirt. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in here and we're gonna make a bunch of planters. Now I'm gonna make one, two, three. All right, so we're out of a lot of things again. So we gotta get some more wood. This is where it's very tedious to, I mean, eventually you can automate all this, but in the meantime, uh, well, obviously you can't. So uh, we have to kind of go go as we go. I need some more tree seeds. And then um, we're out of dirt again, of course. Let's dump all the dirt in here. We need tree seeds. And then we're also going to need uh, some plastic. So let's get a bunch more seeds. Now the max size is exceeded because we have to, actually we have to, we should work on that too. Um, let's upgrade, let's do one of those and let's just do, can we do a few more yet? No, we can't, okay. And also need some olive, olive seeds. Oh, it's oil, oil, oil of seeds. Okay, I thought it was olive. I think everything has like a funny name to it. Iron seeds, or tomato seeds, copper seed, tree seed, okay. That's very, very funny. I didn't even realize that it was, it was uh, oil olive seed, not olive, not olive seeds. That's hilarious. Um, there we go. Let's make another box. Can we make, we need to make 10 of those. So we can make one more. And then, because if you place these, your maximum inventory size goes up, which down in this thing in here, you don't want this to exceed that or well, you have problems. Like this has to go into here now. You don't want to exceed the maximum or, well, it just won't work. Okay, let's get into here. And how many of these we have made? Three, four, five. I mean, the olive, the olive seeds to make the plastic, which actually we have all the plastic that we can make right here. So that's how many do we have? Five, that's six. Okay, so all I want is six. Now these are going to be placed like this. These are planters. Now, this is where this comes, these come into play because when you place an item on here, it'll split it. Now, this is where I wish you could hide your cursor, but you, you can't. Is you hover over this, you left, oops, sorry. <laughs> That's not right. You hover over it and you right click on it and you can select what the filter is gonna be. But for us, we don't want any filter. We want this, this one here to be, uh, well, I guess it could just be earth orbs. Um, because I don't want anything being filtered at the bottom one, right? So as long as you set up something that it's not going to filter, it's not going to, will matter. So the way this is going to be set up is we need something that is going to make seeds for us. And that's going to be this. So we're going to take the sieve and we're going to put it back down here, right? So say we want to say, what do we need? Let's see. What do we need? We need those things and these things are made by okay, let's say iron right so we can go in here we actually have a bunch of iron at the moment so we can just dump can we not dump all those in there we can't uh for some reason i thought you could so say we say we select iron right we go in here let's dump in i don't want half let's say 25 and let's watch what's going to happen it's going to spit it out and it sh should grab it no Oh, hold on a second. That should, oh, I know why. Because you have to select everything that you want it to be. Uh, sorry. So it's going to be those plus this. And I think that in this, right? These, now I don't know how to copy a recipe. Um, oops. Oof. You got to be careful with doing that. So you can't copy a recipe. Um, yeah, I totally forgot about that. So this, 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 and that. Or no, not this, excuse me. So this should be five. We do the same with this one, this one, this one, this one, this, no, not that, this, and that. Same thing with this one. 
one, two, three, four, five. This one, one, two, three, four, five. And then the one that's here, you can just put a conveyor belt like that because it'll automatically stick in whatever it is so it doesn't it doesn't really matter um okay cool so that's that now you can see how it's working now they these have hoppers so the max stack size is actually 100 so i don't know how to change that honestly i don't know how you can change that type of things uh so yeah doing it like this may not be the best way to do it um yeah, hold on a second. We can get a splitter. Now, ha that'll split something completely, but the splitters are kind of odd because the splitters work like this. So I don't know how you would even do that, honestly. Because um, they don't split a way that I would want them to be split, and you can't, like, there's no alternative. It's just that, right? So, yeah. The only issue with this, like I said, is that these have hoppers to them. And they will store 100 items, um, regardless of what it is. And that's the only downside that I can, f well, not find, that I, that I have found. Um, it'll keep planting it, of course, but there's no way to s filter the stack size in this. As far as I know, you can't click on it. You can take some out, but you can't put, you know what I mean? So... I don't know how else to do this where it would be 100% equal. But the, the gist of it, I guess, would be something like this. Just get rid of all this. <laughs> yeah, okay, that, that didn't work the, the way I thought it would. Interesting. But I guess the way you could actually, well, the way we're kind of automating this right now is we have to put, let's get some, let's get that in there. Let's do some copper seeds. And then let's do, actually, I want to move this. Let's move this back up here. Yeah, this is not this is not the way I thought it would go. Um, apologies there, guys. Um, say we want copper seeds. Let's just dump in half of this. Let's get a bunch of copper seeds. Which one is this? Um, yeah, so, yeah, okay. So never mind. That's not the, not the way that I thought it would be done. Because currently there's nothing that will receive. Um, I don't know. Let's just let's just check in here because you can make this an automatic one. Um, we need to make a couple more of these things. Because if we make an automatic one of these, right now that will that will spit out to something um mm, yes that wouldn't work either hmm interesting so yeah so you can automate everything it's just a matter of the this doesn't work i mean you can make this auto craft items uh collector but there's nothing that you can automatically put things into. That's the problem here, right? Um, yeah, that's the only problem. So, what that means is I'm not really sure, honestly. Um, we need to put some more tomato seeds in here. Or autumn seeds. I just put all of them in, right? Yeah, so there's no actual way to do that then. Hmm, interesting, interesting, interesting. Not what I was thinking here. We need a bunch of those, bunch of those, bunch of those. Can I craft any of these right now? The maximum amount of these I can craft is that, maximum amount of that, and then I need the regular the regular belts, the maximum amount of belts that I can do, which is not actually that many, right? Let's just go in here and just dump all of these in here. And then let's just get some some copper going, which we actually have a whole ton of copper right now. Copper oh, copper can go into... Wait, what? Oh, there we go. Copper can go into that one. And then um, tomatoes can go into this one. 
And then let's get a bunch more olive seeds going or oil of oil of seeds going. Yeah, let's just do that. And then, oops, uh, I gotta not click it from there. I gotta click it from from here. Put some oil seeds in this one, and there. So, this is a manual way to auto craft, which sounds really silly, but I guess we're not quite at that step where we can set the stack sizes. I don't know. I mean, you could you could lay out a bunch of these different ways to keep splitting and splitting and splitting, but I don't think that's kind of as intended, right? Earth orbs, eight of them. How many of those can I make? Uh, none. So we need 11 more of these. So we need copper and we need the plastic. Now the plastic I make um, myself, of course. Let's do that by ourselves. Dump the rest of that in there. And then let's just get some more, um, let's get some more wood going. And then we got to do some composting like that. Now this, you could have these auto join that. Um, Let's actually do that. Break that up completely, and this you want this one to be a, an auto, um, an auto bin, basically an auto composting bin, and that's going to go like that. So we're going to dump all of this into that, and this will automatically feed that, and this should feed that because now we're set up for. Oh, why is that not working? Ninety six. Wait, what? What? Why is that not working? Interesting. What the heck? Uh, hmm. I don't know why that's not working. Weird. Everything seems broken. So you should be able to copper auto bin composter. Oh, that's why I think I was trying to do it a different way. Oops. Um, here, what do I need for that? I need, oh, I need one regular one. Okay. All right. Let's just get a regular. Uh, no, let's get a regular one. I think that's because I messed up like that. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. And we're going to dump all of the dirt. Or no, not the dirt. All of that into that. That should compost into this. Yes, and we're going to spit out tree seeds. Okay, fair enough. Uh, yeah, that's fine now. Kind of fine. So the way you could do this is you could have one of these set up to feed dirt into these. But again, the splitter thing doesn't really work because it stacks it, right? So I'm not really sure. You don't want to have, to have one of these for every one of these planters. Seems kind of odd to me, doesn't it? Kind of does. We need 13 more of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven more. We need 30. How many of these? We can make a bunch of these. Uh, can we do... Nope. Uh, let's just do it like that, and we'll just stop it when I need to stop it. There. Nope. There. Oh, nope. There. 65 so we need 20 of the splitters we can we can't make all of them so this is gonna have to go to this type of seed um let's just go into this one dump this into this one the tomato seeds we got going we need plastic let's make all the plastic we can which is not a lot and we need to make a bunch of these yeah so the plastic is a little bit tight right now which is actually that can be fine this one can have all of these and then, yeah, let's just get to the next upgrade because I think that might help us a little bit better. Yeah, I think it might. I mean, at least this, the oil, at least this part is semi automated. automated. The only thing I, I need is that we don't have anything that is like uh, a sucker. Like, you know, this is distribute a collector, but it spits out. We need something that will suck it back in. So when this pops out, it automatically grabs it. Maybe because there's no like tech tree, like there's no like T, but like there's no, I'm not sure how you even pan the camera down. Like I thought there was a way to pan the camera down. Uh, manual is B. Oh, maybe B. Perspective is T. Um, so manual is B, but it doesn't, it doesn't, uh, horror, okay, that works. Conveyor belts, yeah. And then 
yeah, I don't know. Yeah, so you can yeah, so you can split it this way, but you can't split it more. That's the problem with these. You can't split things more. I want to be able to do it more, right? Um, yeah, that's the only thing. Okay, we're not. I just don't think the technology that we have is quite there yet. Um, hopefully, it will be soon. We can actually dump this into there, and then let's just take some more. Uh, we need to make more plastic, 100% plastic right now. So we're on the olive seeds, which is fine. Let's just dump the rest of this into here. And then actually, let's just uh, let's just take turn this off for now. And then, uh, oops, this can go. Let's just get the get rid of the rest of these. Let's make the plastic that we need. Which should be enough with this, because we need to make a bunch, more, eleven more. Boom! That's what we need. Okay, let's let's see what this gives us. You've unlocked iron tier items. You can now make an advanced crafting table at the crafting table. Advanced crafting table at the crafting table. It allows you to create lots of new useful items. Upgraded versions of the harvester and planter are now available. That's that's what we need. So let's make. Um, can we make? that we can make one good let's make that and let's just place that actually up here what can we make there oh here we go glass iron sieve i think it's just faster right yeah 0 0.2 seconds same thing with that and then the iron hammer okay it's just faster stuff any new basic items no but in here there's new items here yeah here we go okay so these are the these are some of the new items i was talking about this is a harvester tier two so you can harvest two fields at once and this is a planter tier two which plants two fields at once the rest of these look to be the same so yeah, what do these cost they all cost plastic and they cost okay so we have some of those we have some of the sweet plastic right now is like the key thing i think Let's just get in here. Let's just dump all this in here. Dump all that in there. And it'll just keep spitting out and spitting out and spitting out as much as we as much as we we have here, I guess. Let's go into this menu. How much plastic can we make? 10. Which actually gives us 70. Which is actually pretty good. So we just need. How much do we actually need for these? So it's five per so we can actually make all of those. Um so let's just come in here and just go. I mean, we're going to redo this a bit anyway. Let's actually, let's just redo all of these. I'm going to redo this whole setup. Because I think it's important to redo this setup a bit. Give us some more space. Oh, oh I know you could do that. Oh, you can't. That's weird. Oh, look how it makes it so much smaller, the icons. All right, let's go in here. Let's get our tables up and running. Put the automatic automation table there. This table here, and then these things are here. So we want to go into this, and we want to make... Well, let's see. Do we have enough to upgrade our orb? Okay, we definitely don't. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we have nine. So let's just do eight. Uh, well, we just do... Sorry, let's just do six. One, two, three. Oh, we can't. One, two, three. Oh, okay, four. All right, so we're lacking. All right, so we're lacking tomatoes then. All right, no problem. Hey, this was like, oh, it's like, what are you going to do with this autom automation stuff, man? All right, let's just um, place this down up here. Let's place the sieve down. And let's place this down in there. So this is going to hold all of the dirt. This is going to hold all of that dirt and then the crystal ball we can actually stick here all right so this is a way to set like to automate this now yeah we're gonna try to monkey with this maybe you can't just do a row of six maybe you have to do it like in rows of three which is kind of annoying to be honest with you it's not what i wanted at all um but i think what we're gonna do is we're gonna end the episode here and we're gonna come back can i make an upgraded Oh, I want an iron blade. That's what I want. So it's because it's faster, right? 
So what we're going to do is we're going to end it here. We made some good progress. Now, we had a couple snafus here about how to set up the automation, right? Um, so I think next episode, the most you can do is split things three ways. Uh, do we have a splitter somewhere? Because if we have a splitter over here, so like the way that was showing in that little thing is you can go like this, and then you can go like that and like that and like, oh, that one doesn't even show you. You can split it. Weird. That's so odd because couldn't doesn't it show it? That's a sorter. Look at that. I can't do that here on mine. What? Uh, what? Do you see that? It says it right here. Chain. Click on it to. Ch oh, click on it to change its shape. What? But how do I click on it though? No. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, I didn't know that. Okay, so the most you can do, I guess, would be to set it up into a shape like that. What would happen if you would put another one here? Um, and then rotate it. Uh... Hmm. Okay, so you know what? I think that would actually work. That would work. I don't know how good it would work. Basically, you would do this. Uh, we're out of them now. Let's just make... I just wanna, we're just kind of like doing some monkeying around here real quick. Because I think it would work like that. And you got to click, click to change its shape. Ah, that would work then. Okay. So if you put an item here, it will it will split it this way and this way, this way, this way. So, I mean, these will always get more. But, um, okay. This is, all right. So this is a setup that we have to start working towards. Um, the problem is it'll take, after you get to two, though, you can't, you, ha you have to do it like, you, ha you can't do it like that. You have to do it in groups of three. Because it'll go this way, this way, this way. But then this one will come this way. And it'll go that way and this way. The next one will go this way and this way. And the next one's going to go, yeah, this is going to be too much. Okay. That's okay. So the way we have to do this next time is, um, can we make actually the big ones yet? Oh, no. Oh, we don't, okay, we don't have the iron. That's okay. All right. So this is how we're going to do it next time, guys. We're going to do it something like... Um, like this. Okay, this makes sense. And then you just right click on it. There we go. And then you can set your planters like this. There we go. And then what you could do is you could actually split. Well, it doesn't matter where you put it, I guess. You'd actually split this. There you go. That'd be the most even way to split things. One will go to here and then it'll go to there, to there, to there. All right, so that's how you split it. Okay. And then the way you would... Okay, hold on, guys. We're, we're getting somewhere now. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. So this has to go... We're going to take this and we're going to take this. Let's just see what we can do. Let's just see if this works, right? The sieve is going to go um, like that. This is going to go like that. Let's just see. We're kind of we're kind of over time right now. I want to make this... Let's do iron seeds and then change this... To, let's just put half a uh, half a stack in. Let's see if this works. What? Oh, duh! I need to put this in here, not this. Okay, I'm stupid. Sorry. That. Theoretically, this should spit one that way, and it should go to the other side the next time. That's going to go left. I mean, over time, it will build up, right? But I guess the other way to do it is that, does this, does this process it faster? Like, that's the thing. How fast does these... Okay, so this is 0.2 seconds, and this is point. Okay, so it's the same. Oh, there we go. Okay, so they're kind of... They're not backing up, so to... Well... This would be the way to do it, I guess. You'd almost have one of these for one of these. All right, guys. 
So what we're going to do is we're just going to get rid of all this while well, we're going to leave it. I want to thank you all for watching. The episode has been a little long. I apologize. I like messing with things like this at the end. I want to thank you all for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Hit the bell notification button. Follow me on Twitch at The Ontario Gardener. And I'll catch you all in the next episode. Where we're going to set up something proper. Maybe not something this crazy, but uh, we have a lot more kind of things in here we can start making, um, which I know is going to be faster. Get iron tools. Glass is the next thing. And then to, to upgrade, the next upgrade is going to be glass. What are those? Compactus? What? Where is that? I don't even know how. We don't. What the heck? Do we have something called a compactor yet? No. I bet you we can make that with this. I bet you we can. Wow. Okay, this is cool. All right, guys. Yeah, we're in uncharted territory right now. But once we can get a couple of these set up, maybe one for each thing. And then just put up. Yeah, I think that's what we might do. One for each thing. We could probably have enough room for one. We have enough for like four at least, right? All right, guys. Enough jibber jabbering. I want to thank you all for watching again. I'll catch you all in the next assembly. How do I, how do I make the, uh, the camera a free camera? Not... I don't know how to, how to even do that. Uh, you can't. Anyway, guys, thanks a lot. I'll catch you next time.